Morning, guys. Yeah, so we are less than an hour away from gates opening here at the St. James Court Art Show. So we're next to uh, the iconic uh, water fountain that's flowing right now beautifully on this nice, crisp fall day. I actually have the executive director here. Howard is with us this morning. Howard, let's walk through and see um, sure. you, what's going on right now. What are you expecting this weekend to hold for us? Well, what you can see right now is everybody's setting up. And by 9 o'clock or... Well, it's already past nine. <laughs> Everybody should be set up. We're out of here. I mean, I expect a great weekend. I expect people to come, enjoy it, enjoy the venue, uh, definitely enjoy the artwork. What types of art can we see? Well, there's 17 different mediums of artists, about 650 artists from 46 states and Canada. So you're going to see a, a full array of artists. Um, and I think we have about a fourth... 25% new artists, wow. so there's an opportunity to see some new people, and uh, we're just excited that everybody's here. There's so much incredible stuff to see. Um, we're talking about more than 600 of these artists. What is it like to put together an event like this? This is its, it's 66th year. Well, it's in its 66th year, and in all honesty, you know, there there's a whole team that works 12 months out of the year to put this together. It's, it's getting the artist juried. It's making sure that we have security in place. It's making sure that simple things like dumpsters yeah. are delivered on time. To make sure it's comfortable and enjoyable for guests. That's it, that's what it. should we know uh, about this year if people are getting ready to come out here? Well, I think, number one, you're going to see some great art. Okay. Number two, there's a couple of special things. One, the Fun for the Arts is right here where the fountain is. And throughout the show, they're going to be doing performances, live performances like Shakespeare Center Stage. Uh, you know, we believe that uh, performers are artists too. And the second thing is, there's going to be two programs in the center, uh, in, center in Central Park, focusing on the African-American influence on the art world in the 50s and 60s. That's today, guys like Ed Hamilton and William Duffy are gonna be here. And then tomorrow, I think it's either three or four African-American female artists are going to be doing a program at one o'clock. Today's program's at four. Well, again, we're getting ready to open up. Howard's putting the finishing touches on things. Uh, St. James Court Art Show runs from 10 to 6, uh, Friday and Saturday, and then on Sunday it closes at 5 o'clock. Guys, it's free, so come on down here, enjoy the great weather and the awesome art. I get so excited just thinking about it. It's one of my favorite places, favorite times of year. Ugh, so much to buy.